Most aftermarket supercharger kits maintain the stock Ford throttle body, which is restrictive and requires the supercharger to work harder in order to achieve a given amount of airflow. The Edelbrock kit comes standard with a huge free-flowing 85mm electronic throttle body. In addition, our throttle body is built to OEM standards with a 356 T6 cast aluminum housing, brass throttle blade, and glass-filled nylon injection molded gearing. Other aftermarket throttle bodies utilize machine gears which are known to bind and cause dangerous stuck throttle conditions. Our injection molded gears are made to the same material and dimensional specifications and tolerances as the factory Ford unit, ensuring safe, reliable operation. Axial flow positive displacement superchargers have conventionally been arranged in one of two ways, front drive rear inlet or rear drive front inlet. Each has its drawbacks. With the rear inlet, the air has to be routed from the filter box, typically at the front of the car, all the way back to the rear of the supercharger. This long path with lots of bends is very restrictive. The supercharger is driven off the crank pulley at the front of the engine. Rear drive requires the use of a jack shaft and an auxiliary drive belt at the back of the supercharger. These systems are notorious for failures. On the Edelbrock supercharger, the rotors are installed from the rear of the housing, as in a rear drive front inlet setup. However, instead of using a jack shaft and driving the supercharger from the rear, a front drive setup is utilized and coupled to the end of the rotor shaft for a very simple, reliable, and elegant setup, which combines the short, straight inlet path of a front inlet configuration with the reliable and compact front drive method. The bypass valve is a vacuum actuated throttle plate that divides the inlet and outlet plenums of the supercharger. Under normal driving conditions, when horsepower demand is low, the valve is held open by manifold vacuum. This equalizes the pressure before and after the supercharger rotors, minimizing any parasitic power loss associated with pumping air. That means that as long as the valve is open, the engine does not use any more fuel than it would if the supercharger were not installed. So your long commute to work will still use the same amount of gas as before. When you step on the accelerator pedal and the throttle body opens, the manifold will lose vacuum and the bypass will close. This allows all intake air to pass through the supercharger rotors and for positive boost pressure to build up in the plenum. What makes the Edelbrock bypass unique is its integration into the supercharger housing. Many competitive kits use external bypass valves that utilize couplers or gaskets that can leak, leading to dangerous lean running conditions down the road. At the heart of the new Edelbrock E4 supercharger are the new Eaton TVS rotors. They represent the cutting edge of technology in the world of supercharger design. They feature a four lobe configuration and a full 160 degrees of twist. This improves both volumetric and thermal efficiency, meaning that with each revolution, the maximum airflow is achieved with the minimum of effort from the engine and with minimum temperature rise in the charging. That translates to more horsepower to the ground more consistently. These new rotors also operate much quieter than any other rotors on the market, so there is no annoying whine, gear rattle, or other undesirable NVH. Once air exits the supercharger rotors and is pressurized in the plenum, it passes through the enormous 110 square inch intercooler. Cool water flowing through the intercooler core absorbs heat from the pressurized air. This increases the density of the air and reduces the volatility of the fuel air charge entering the combustion chamber. That means that there is more oxygen available to burn fuel and the spark can be further advanced, both resulting in increased horsepower.